the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Everybody get your hands up for the brew review. Come on, everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap. Show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes. Tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yin ling hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the brew review, so we gonna party all night. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Everybody get your hands up for the brew review. Alright, what's going on guys and gals? And we are back for yet another fun edition of the brew review. And what we have for you today is another series from Bud Light. It's called Mixed Tail Long Island. Yeah, this is Long Island. 8% <clears throat> content, 11.5 ounces. This is from the good people that brought you the Ritas. As yes, we them. did all of them last season. I am moving over because this stool is bugging me. Yes, I'm out. kind of filming from behind the bar this time. We'll probably have to uh, take that one out. But, a uh, little backstory. I received this as a free sample from Beverage Express in Carlisle. Well worth the drive, by the way. Even if you're in California. And the sump pump is that your running. vibrator? Yeah, and the sump pump is running. So we apologize for the the noise levels here, but we're not Hollywood. No, she says uh, this stuff is fairly new, but apparently it's not as popular as the Ritas. However, as filming this, they've released three different kinds. There's the Long Island Iced Tea. You may see more as this airs. There's something called the Hurricane, which somebody has told me tastes exactly like Fruit Punch, with no kick, which will be awesome. And Firewalker, which is kind of like a cinnamon flavored drink. So. I wonder if this will be like an iced tea like flavor. Well, have you ever had a Long Island Iced Tea? I have. And you know exactly what goes into a Long Island Iced Tea. About three or four shots. Yeah. There's and like, it'll fuck you up. There's 83 different kinds of alcohol in a Long Island iced tea. So I can only imagine what this is. But as you can, you might not be able to see it, but as you can hear it, aluminum bottle. That is the first time in a show's history we've had that. Aluminum. Long Island. Aluminium. Alum, aluminium. Malt beverage with natural flavors, caramel color, and artificial sweetener. So... There's some artificial sweetener. It probably has aspartame in it. Ass Maybe. what? At oh, aspartame. Aspartame. Uh, How the hell did that hammer get in the wall? I was pissed off one night, and I drove the freaking thing into it. That looks cool. Yeah. Anyways, let's get back to the review. Yeah, anyway. Anyway. So, the wife just passed by. We're going to have to get like a black curtain or something or whatever. You know. So, what do we do with this damn thing? I forget. We are going to do... The cap test, the, cap the test. body and head test, the drink test, draft test, all that good stuff. So, without further ado, let's oh, get started. We forgot to bitch. 11.5. Not content. This is ounces this yeah. time. 11.5. 11 11.5 11 was ounce. actually the content last week, if you didn't see that. So, I guess I'll do the honors this week. Bunch of and it even says on the side, twist off. If it's not a fucking twist off, I'll be pissed. <laughs> oh, I heard it. Pissed. Heard. This is our first ever aluminum... Alum aluminum, 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 and a sniff. That's got some fucking kick. Does it? Yeah, you can just smell it. Mm. There ain't no. Yeah, this isn't like the Ritas. No, it's it smells like it's got kick. It Ooh. it smells like something serious. This is going to be interesting. I'm kind of anxious to see so, what this really I'm tastes gonna like. I'm going to do like the side deal, and I'm going to go, <clears throat> Bud Light, Mixed Tail, Long Island, let's try it. Okay, flavor burst. Flavor burst it. And our Schmitz logo up there now. That's embedded into the, the side there. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Borderline fucking liquor. It tastes like a Long Island iced tea. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he's shaking his head. Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess you guys didn't see that, but... No, he's like... Interesting. So it will fuck you up. Yeah, it does have a bite to it. But... 
but I didn't think it was bad. No, I don't know about you. It goes down rather smooth. Yes. Which means a couple of these are going to mess you up. So I wonder how much a case of this stuff would actually run or what they sell it in. I believe somebody told me that a 24-pack costs like maybe an average of 30 bucks. Huh, that's not bad for something that strong, though, yeah. when you think about now, it. Now, somebody had said that at Wegmans, which is well worth the drive, by the way, you can actually do the mix and match. Oh, so you can get those in it, too, now? Yeah, I want to, I would like to do a Wegmans trip, maybe to find... After burp, chicken. tastes like iced tea. So, we're going to pour this and I'm going to guess it's going to look like iced tea. Oh, I'm sure it will. It's a malt beverage. Ah! Oh, ah! Yeah. Ah! Ah! A little bit of carb, carby on there, but... I don't know if it would taste better in a glass or the the aluminum. Let's the, go to the light with it here. Looks like yeah, it's it almost looks like ginger ale, very carbonated as you can see. Eh, a little bit. It certainly smells a lot more stronger. Does it smell a lot more better out of the glass? It smells a lot more better out of the glass, no doubt. We need your brother here to break in this bar one of these weeks. Mm -hmm. He he hasn't joined us at all in season three. We got our own lives going. Yeah. I'm a granddad. You're a dad. Yeah. Kids are probably up there screaming and crying right now. You can't hear them because they're very quiet. Uh, again, it goes down rather smooth. You taste the alcohol. Oh, dude, you can even smell it out of the glass. Holy shit. Yeah, you, you taste it, but it goes down rather smooth. This is one of those that will catch up with you if you are not careful. Not bad. I will give it that. It's, it's not bad. Yeah, I don't understand why people don't seem to like this. I don't know if it's the fact that it's the aluminum bottle, or I don't know. Or there's only three flavors of it. But then again, the Bud Light Rita's only had like a couple flavors to begin with, and now look at them. They have eight of them. Eight or nine? Well, I think they got seven. Seven? Yeah, they got seven well, total. The time, Maybe as we record this, they might have yeah, a couple more. By the time they're, they'll have like a fall version... Uh, like, they'll do an Oktoberfest or something. Oh, you know what they should have done in the Rita series? What's that? Pineapple. Interesting. Listen up, bud. That'd actually be an interesting idea. I'm surprised they haven't done that one yet, but maybe they will by the time we air this. Yeah. So, uh, as far as ratings go for the mixed tail. We got some tail tonight. That was a combination of Long Island iced tea and chicken and broccoli. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, we just ate at a Chinese joint right down the road here. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just say four. Four out of five. It was good, but I think I'd probably like more of the other ones better. Not big on Long Island iced tea. But, and I think uh, like the Twisted Teas... Or, or yes, better. that's what it reminded me of. The it kind of I think it puts me in the mind of a twisted tea, but I think the the content of it really yeah. overrode the tea taste. I think the twisted teas are way better than this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a straight four. I like it's I, not bad. I'm gonna say my personal opinion. It was good. It did have a little bit of the tea taste, but the the strength of the alcohol overrode it. Maybe it's not the best flavor to make it that strong, but you know I'm. I'm with you. I'm going to say four. It's worthy. Variety pack worthy. Yes. I think it's six, I think it's six pack worthy at least. Yeah. I could get like two of these, then two of the other ones, uh, two of each of the other ones. How about that? Or say maybe you're burned out on your typical Coors Light or Yingling or whatever the hell you drink. Maybe try one of them. Yeah. Again, this is something for people that don't like the taste of beer but still want to get fucked up. Yes, it will do that. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah. Our ratings both cross the board four out of five. Good stuff. We like it. Good stuff. So Bud Light, you're str you got it again. You, the Rita series is good. This is starting off strong. You might have something on this. So yeah, we'll have to do a future review on the other two, the other couple. Yeah. Maybe they'll have more out by then. So who knows? Hopefully. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the Brewview featuring Mixed Tail, Long Island Iced Tea, and we'll see you later.